Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. This should be, I don't think this is gonna be a super long live, but we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. But our projects today are really simple, but that's kind of what I love about them, especially this time of year. Hi, Kara, how are you doing? We are going to make, let's do these little boxes first, because I wanna get some of these little pieces out of my way. So I have had this die that's a Lawn Fawn die that we carry on the Brutus Monroe site. It is, let's see what it's called. Did Who did? Cindy. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Thanks for saying hi. This is the tiny gift box. I wasn't sure exactly what the name of it was. And also on the site, there's some little uh, add-ons you can buy where you can make little animals and different things uh, cut out for this. But I wanted to make something, I, you know, we don't do anything amazing for New Year's other than, well, we do. It's just not New Year's related because um, Benji's birthday actually is on New Year's Eve. So we're usually celebrating Benji's birthday and that is usually more of our focus. So we're not big um, party goers or anything, but I thought it would be fun to make some sort of a, a little New Year favor. So this... There aren't a lot of these left on the on the site. I'm hoping they might get reordered. I don't know for sure on that, but these are super cute. And when you see how cute they are when they're put together, you're gonna die. They're just the cutest little tiny box you've ever seen. Donna's Hi, Donna. Okay, so we've got we've got all of our. I've got it cut out. I clicked, I've cut it out of three different papers. This one's out of the uh, glitter stock. And this one is the Sizzix, um, it's called Opulent Collection or something like that. But this one was the, I think it's called Mystic. I didn't see it on the site, but Darren is putting a link to one that's similar. And I am going to just go ahead and quickly glue these together. And I will show you a little trick I have for these because gluing um, glitter stock and smooth surfaces can be a little tricky. I like the Barely Art glue for this. Um, Ultra Bond would probably work really good too. But it might take a little bit stronger glue than you may typically use. So I'm gonna start here and I just wanna make sure that I line up all of my sides and I will tell you that my little secret is just gonna be using clothespins and I do keep them on my craft table because I use them often. I use them for this. I use them when I'm embossing and don't want to burn my fingers. Drop down a little bit. I think I'm back. So for now, I'm just going to let that dry. Okay? Because we have enough other little things we can do while we're waiting. And then I'll glue the other one and I'll glue the back of that one. So then I, um, I have a little... Uh, embellishment, I guess we'll call it. I just took the clock from the What's Cooking set. This is the stand, the die of the month this month. And I'm just taking pieces from that. Now also the set, let me show you what else comes with that other die. I wanna show you a couple things about it. So I showed you the die. You can kind of see the size of it. Brandon but the Who did? Brandon. Brandon, how you doing? Okay, what I, why I wanted to show you is because I think the sizing on this is perfect. This is a six by six piece of our uh, designer paper, our pattern paper, and so this is how it fits. You've got plenty of space on there, which I think is brilliant. So I just wanted to show you that so you kind of have a sense of the size. And then it does come with some little accessories, uh, the Lawn Fawn, and then I'll show you the what's cooking. The what's cooking, I can just show you. Um, I'm just gonna show you the dies that I'm using today. But this comes with the all of the pieces to make two different types of bows. You can have a bow that has the, um, the tails going down, or you can have a bow that goes straight across. And you'll be able to see that better when I show you. Actually, I've got one bow cut out here and kind of assembled. So there's the bottom piece and then you'll kind of fold up the other one, and I'll show you that while we're doing this, but that's what these pieces are for. 
And then it also comes with two different hearts, a circle that's got the little stitch line in it, and then a star. So I mean, how many occasions does that cover tons? Okay, so I'm gonna put these little guys away. I did use this in conjunction with our clock. So I used this and then these two dies from the What's Cooking set. Now, I, you might be wondering what these little circles are. I just didn't um, take them off. I just left them on there because they're so tiny. I just thought, eh, they're not hurting anything. I mean, what's that much more paper when I'm cutting out this part? So those are the three dies that um, I used to create our pieces for our clocks. But I am going to put them away right now because I will lose them. Otherwise, I'm telling you right now, I have no doubt in my mind they will disappear. And we'll put our little circle in with our little dies and get that kind of set aside as well. Okay, so let's start assembling some of our little, our little pieces. These are the little centers of our clock and we'll just cut off the one little part of it so that it looks like midnight. And let me get all of my bows kind of together. Now I cut the bows out of prism paper. Now the red came in an ATC box and I don't believe the red is available anymore to purchase separate. Um, I know that the prism color, it's its actually, I've got it wrong. The paper is called, Darren, what is the paper called? Prism is the color, the paper type mirror stock. is mirror stock. Thank you. What would I do without you, Darren? Okay. Let's, I'm kind of an assembly line kind of person. So I'm just gonna put our pieces out where we can just kind of see where everything is. Hope that is okay with you guys. All right, so I've got all of my little backings. This is the piece from the Lawn Fawn dies. And we will set those aside for now. And then let's get our little clocks going. So we've got our little face for our clock and then we've got the little outline around it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of our glue around that. What do you guys do for New Year's Eve? Do you go out? Do you stay in? You will have to update me, Darren, as people answer that. Is the video still working okay? Okay, yeah, it is. It just paused on the tablet, so I just wanted to make sure that my phone wasn't doing something weird. And it really does not take a lot of this glue. I just barely, I'm barely squeezing at all. Mostly just taking whatever's on the tip of the, the applicator. Donna says, sleep and to play with the puppies. Donna, that sounds like a good time to me, honestly. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to be out on the road on New Year's Eve. Yep, who said that? Cindy. Yep, Cindy, you, you spoke exactly what I was just saying, too. Yep. Who wants to, well, you know, a lot of people are more social than me, so there probably are lots of people who are at parties. I am a big fan of just playing games with the family and just low key is good with me. Yeah, Darren's favorite is when we do like a charcuterie board and just play our games and ring in the new year. Okay, so you can see on this little guy, I don't know if you can see that, let me hold it up closer. I've cut off the little um, hand so that we can just make it midnight. I know, right? It is summer here. I even cleaned my desk off a little bit. Okay. So this one is pretty much ready to go. 
And we can put this on one of our little clock bases, one of our fancy sparkly clocks. We'll just let that dry. And before I go on to the next clock, I think I will, I think this is probably dry, so we'll do the back side. Brandon says you'd be low key, the best thing to do in New Year's Eve. Brandon, I am with you on that 100%. 100%. Okay, we'll catch you when you come back. Have um, tell Woody to be careful with his hearing. <laughs> okay, so let's. Tina says hi. Tina. Yes. Tina, how you doing? Is everybody ready for the big day? Okay, I think that is pretty well how we're gonna do on that. And we'll just keep going on some of the clocks and some of the bows. Let's do a bow next, since we've done a clock. Let's let's kind of assemble a bow. So the best way I found to um, assemble a die cut bow is to use um, a crease tool, bone folder, whatever you like to call them. And I just do it like, like you curl ribbon. I just kind of give it the curve for me so that when I go to attach the little ends, on the inside that it doesn't just make a crease. It makes a kind of rounder, prettier bow. We'll see how we do on this. That's the theory anyway. So hopefully because I'm live, hopefully it, the theory agrees with me. I, I moved. I know you've got a delay, so. So we will I need more clothespins, it looks like. We'll hold on to that for a second. And then move over to this other side. And see, so you can see it's not creased. It's, it's still got the loop there rather than just like a fold. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to hold that one. In the meantime, I hear I even put the glue, to, the glue, the, excuse me, the adhesive foam square on the side of my bottle and I still leave the pin out. Gotta break that habit. Maybe that will be one of my new year resolutions. Okay, so I think that's dry enough that I, uh, maybe not. We'll hold on to it a little bit longer. Not worth rushing it and having to redo it. So I'm gonna hold on to that a second more. And then we can get these guys going. Now I will, sh I will show you, I'm going to use the word kisses and it was perfectly sized already for me on the conversation clippings from the fall. Now these unfortunately are no longer available on the site. So if you got the inspiration box for, I believe it was October. That is where you will find that. Um, it may be, is it October? I think it was October. Um, but we do have several stamp sets. I know um, that you can look in the mermaid set. There's a few that have the word kisses. And there was also, I think there's even one, yeah, Christmas kisses on the holiday. And this one is still available. And that one, Darren will put a link up too. But Robin I just liked the size of this one. What was that? Oh, you know, trust me, I'm always tempted, but this particular, oh, for the, oh, I see what you're saying for this, that would make, that would make sense. The only thing about the ones that I have is they, they fall apart really easy. So, um, you have to kind of fiddle with them. They're not my favorite, but I do love the way they look. But they are not created equal, I will tell you that. Okay. I know, I'm kind of wiping the glue off. It kind of seeped out the edge a little bit. Okay, 
So we fold it over that little piece. And if you do kind of get a crease in your loop, you can do something like take your pin or whatever you have that's just little like that and kind of fluff it out a little if you want. But honestly, I think it's okay. So we've got that done. And then this little guy will just go right on top of the little bottom piece. And I was just trying to decide if I want to use foam or if I, I don't think I do. I think this is so little. We're just going to use glue. I think that will be the easiest way. Honestly, on, on this part, from if we're adding this to the base, now that I said it as I finished gluing, I honestly think I would just use a glue dot. I think that would be the least painful way to get it to stick. Okay, but we're gonna just set that aside and not touch it and hope that it dries properly for us. Mm. Did I say we we're gonna leave it alone? Cause I'm not very good at that if you haven't noticed. Let me wipe this glue off with a paper towel really quick. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> it's just gonna be fussier than I want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the glue dot thing myself. Now I wouldn't suggest the glue dot for, um, for putting the ends together, but I would suggest it for adding the top to the bottom. All right. So we'll just add that little guy. And make sure I have the prettiest side. There we go. And you've got an itty bitty tiny cute bow. And now we've got our clock is probably about dry. And this guy might be just about dry. Besides, we need to go on with our um, other box. So I'm going to just let this dry a little bit more. I'm going to put it together so that it's kind of in the right, the right position to dry. Look at how cute this tiny, teeny tiny little box is. And you might wonder what would fit in such a tiny little box. Well, first of all, I have to tell you a, a funny story about my cousin. My cousin has a Barbie house for her granddaughter that she actually, she put a picture on uh, Facebook and it was the cutest thing I ever saw. It was this, just, she has lights up, she has trees up, she has, the whole house is decorated for Christmas. And I thought, dang, I need to send her some some of these little boxes because they're like the perfect size for that. But if you don't want Barbie <laughs> presents, then this is perfect. I will show you what I have in mind for this particular project. And that is we are going to put some kisses in our box. And we've got the clock that's that's at midnight, right? And then we've got the word kisses. So these are our midnight kisses. That way you can have kisses whether you have someone to give you kisses or not. Right? Okay. So we'll add this little guy. And again, I think on this I would just use, um, I'm using tape runner here. You could use glue dots, whatever. The um, double-sided tape would be great for that. I just used what was sitting right in front of me. And again, I'm going to use a glue dot for my bow. Now, I always struggle. I haven't really decided where I want my sentiment, so I better decide that before I tack everything down. But I think we could do that. We could move our bow up. Mm, I kind of like it kind of like that. What do you guys think? Does that work for you? I think it works. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> You're my best cheerleader, man. Okay. Cindy said it's so cute. Isn't that it fun? It's just so, so little and so cute and fun. And then we'll just put one on this. This is just a nice, quick, and easy way to get those on there. Especially when you're live. <laughs> Dina says midnight kisses are great for New Year's. Right. That's exactly what I thought. I think those will work great for, for midnight. Okay, so we've got one. 
I'm going to glue this one and then I've already got this one already pretty well assembled. It's all dry and ready to go. So we'll just get this one going, get the clothespins going on it. And we'll, I have something else that we'll work on while it dries or whatever if we need to. The other two things that we're going to make are way quicker. The little, little bits and pieces of this make it take a little bit longer, but I think it's so cute. It's worth every second and it's still not that long. I mean, it can't really make itself, right? Okay. So I've got everything kind of just folded, ready to go. And I think we'll start with the back pieces on this one. Let's get those all situated. Off camera. That's okay, I'm just putting the clothes pin on. It's kind of awkward because the flap, you know, you actually could probably just fold the flap all the way over and it would be less awkward. So there you go. We learned something together. Just fold the flap all the way over and then on that back one. Hi, Theresa, how are you doing? Is everybody feeling better at your house? I certainly hope so. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this so that this can be drying. And while that is drying, we'll finish these two. We'll finish our bows and we'll finish our clocks. Let's get the clocks done so that we don't lose these little pieces. Okay. I'm just gonna take my little scissors and snip off that itty bitty little piece. Oh. I need to get just a little closer so you, there we go, okay. So we're gonna glue that onto our clock. I like that my glass mat has the white section too so that I can keep track of my stuff. Especially since I always forget to put my glasses on before I start this. And I find out really quickly that I've done that too. Okay. So we've got that part done, we can set that aside and we can actually, let's just glue it onto our background. So we've got gold on this one. And I usually like to create things in odd numbers. Um, so I'm, I'm, we're making three of these little boxes and we can actually just do this right now. That'll eliminate another piece off of the table. And then we'll cut off that little tiny hand on the clock. Christopher says hello. Well, hello, Christopher. Oh, Benji, you are my lifesaver. Benji brought me my glasses. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Teresa says they're doing a lot better. I'm so glad to hear that. A little easier to enjoy Christmas when you feel better, huh? Okay, so let's get our little. Oh, wow. Crystal says, eating dinner and watching your live. Ah, well, we're happy to have you, Christopher. Thank you for joining us. We made this one already, in case you didn't see. We're making little midnight kisses boxes for New Year's. And we're using the Lawn Fawn little tiny box. Okay, so we've got this one ready to go. We can add. Our little, I'm gonna make sure I have, yep, okay. We want them all to be a little bit different. Let's do our bow really quick. That's the next tricky part. This is probably the hardest thing about the whole project is the little bows and it's just because I have fat fingers. They're really not hard. Oh, you are so sweet. These are really fun. These are just, they come together so easily. Okay, so we're just going to get our glue on there. Okay, so now we've got our bow formed. We just need to kind of hold on to that for a second just so it stays closed for us. 
We'll get this ready to go and get our glue dot handy. Uh, you don't have to hold on to it forever, but you want to hold on to it long enough, right? So we're just going to put our glue dot right there in the center. And we'll just pop that onto our, right over the top of that. Once you have your bow done, like I said, the rest of it goes pretty fast. And like I said before, if you find that you kind of closed it up more than you want to, just kind of use your pin or whatever you have handy that you can fit in there. Just kind of fluff it back out a little bit. Okay, so this guy's ready to go. We can finish this guy. I'm gonna put glue dot on this. Don't forget the kisses. You know, I'm only putting kisses in the one box because I didn't bring them in with me. But I will show that you can fit about four kisses per box, which is perfect for a midnight kiss, right? Okay, I'm going to repeat that because I'm not sure if you heard Darren, but Christopher has reminded us that right now on the website there is 25% off, and that is until midnight, is that what you said? Darren? What's that? Until midnight? Uh, you said Friday, so... Oh, until Friday. Okay, so that goes even further. Take advantage of that, guys. This die, I told you, there's not a lot of them on the site, but this would be a great... Great option. Okay, so now we've got two of our little kisses boxes. And I think this guy is ready for us to glue the other one. And while this is drying, we have something else we can put together. So the next thing I wanna show you, I have shown you before, but I wanna show you again, the um, the file folders that are the, um, the digital file that you can download. These are, this is how they come. And you can use the, um, they do have a cut line. You can see the little gray cut line. But there's also a die, it's the Family Traditions die set. Let me find my die, I pulled it out, there we go. If you're a subscriber, they're free. Yes, if you are a subscriber, they are free. So you just go ahead and fold it in half, and then you die cut it so that it goes this way. And then it's up high enough that, you, uh, you actually you wanna bring it down low enough so that this cut line right here of your die keeps it together as a folder. That's if you're making the folders, right? But what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead, I've, I've already done it, I've cut out, I just went ahead and cut out the um, card itself. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna fold that in half and then we've got already super fast, did, I mean, hello, we barely did anything there, and then we've got a gift card holder, okay? So we're just gonna kind of uh, um, play with that a little bit and embellish it up a little bit. So we wanna close off the bottom because we don't want our gift card falling out, right? And you wanna put your glue not too far over because you don't wanna obstruct the path for your gift card to go in. So we'll just go ahead and do that and me and my patient self will just kind of throw something on that. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing. And you can get four, let me show you. If you want to, if, if you don't mind the lines, which I personally don't mind, I would use this with the lines on it too. And you could write a message on it. You could just use it for uh, the background of whatever. You could put a little poem on there. There's all kinds of things you could do, but let me go ahead and score this because I do know I won't get it right down the middle if I'm not careful. I might not even now, but I'll be a lot closer than if I try to do it on my own. It's uh, just a little over three if I remember right. So I'm just gonna score that kind of lightly because I'm not completely sure. And we'll just fold that over and it's mostly just to get it started for me. And I highly recommend you use your crease tool or your bone folder when you do this. So you can get two out of every, every folder, right? See, I, I can still make it crooked. I'm really good at making things crooked. 
trust me, I am a pro at that. So you've got two out of every every set. Super simple. And when you're making, usually when you get to the point where you're getting gift cards, you either have no idea what to get somebody or you may have run out of time. Because none of us procrastinate, right? Let's see, I do want to do this one too because I'm going to make one of the poinsettias and one of the, of the, um, trees. Okay. So now, to embellish this, we're going to just, this is so simple, it's almost funny. Like, you guys are, I think this is just an easy, fun, nice thing to have. I like, by the time we're this far into the holiday, it's nice to have kind of a backup plan for anything that you may have forgotten, something quick and simple. I mean, we're all thinking about all the stuff we're making for dinner and everything else. It's nice to have something just simple and quick, but still really personal. So let's just go ahead and glue that. Okay, so now, and aren't these patterns so pretty? I am in love with these. There's one more that I didn't show you, but I can show you because I've got right here, this is the thing that I already, I showed a few weeks ago. This is our uh, tag holder that we made from the recipe card. And this is what it looks like if you, uh, if you use the whole thing, but I did glue it shut. You don't have to glue it shut. And I didn't use it for a recipe believe it or not. And then we just added some tags. So that, this is the other pattern. Super cute. Okay, so that's probably dry. This is probably dry. We can move on to the next part. And I bent my pen so it won't go back in. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and close it. It's easier to Put it together if it's closed right some things are some things aren't i guess when you think about it all right so we will get our little clock on there i want to make sure it's pointing up so you're at midnight right and it says it's both so delicate and tiny Aren't they cute though? They are, they're worth the little tedious part of trying to make your, if you're me, your big fingers work on something so little, but they are so cute. I can't stand it. Okay. And we'll add our little bow. And we'll add our little kisses. So we've got our midnight kisses ready to go. So these would be really cute in a little bowl or just as little party favors, like somebody's plate or whatever. Look how cute they are when they're all together. I love them. Okay, we will set those aside for a second and we will finish these guys. So I just used some of my layering cardstock for this little band. And I'm just going to do them both at the same time. And I don't even know if I cut them the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, you are sweet. Thank you. I I wouldn't say I have a um good at the measuring though. Don't look too close at if whether it's straight or not. <laughs> as long as you can forgive that, we're good. Okay, so we've got our little band on our trees. And now we'll put our little band on our poinsettias. Yeah, I thought one was a little wider than the other. Doesn't really matter. All right, so now you may recognize these little guys. These uh, poinsettias are from the free gift that was for uh, Black Friday, it's no longer a free gift, but it is still available. So if you go online and look up Jolly Floral, it is a stencil set that is amazing. I don't have a card handy, or I would have show you that, but it's got um, a bunch of different stencils to create a gorgeous floral. I do have the stencils handy. I can show you those. 
That's right. That's what makes it handmade, right? Made with love. So all of these different things. What was that? Brandon says this is a great idea. Ah, thank you. Okay, so these are great. You can uh, ink them up. They line up uh, different ways. I don't know that I have it on there. Yeah, this is the way because you can see that the the leaves go inside, the little veins go inside the leaves. And then you've got your poinsettias. You can place them on there. Let's see if I can get some on there. Donna, and hi. hi, Donna. And then you can place this however you want. You can make sure that you've got the little dots in the center. We're not going to use the stencil, but I did want to show it to you because I think this is one of the most fun things ever. I had a lot of fun playing with this this year. So don't miss out on that because even if you don't use it this year, you're gonna wanna have it. And these little flowers, they can be used all year long. They don't have to be poinsettias. Let me grab, I'm just gonna grab what I have handy. Let me just grab a foam dot and we will just layer those right on top of each other. Now I like to kind of take my, I, the, I should have done this before I put them together, but I do like to kind of curl up the ends a little bit. So it gives it a little bit more motion and a little bit more dimension. And I don't think we need a lot of it on here. I don't think we need to do the bottom anyway, but let's give this inner piece a little bit more. So we're just gonna take it and like I said, you curl it, it's kind of like curling ribbon. You don't need to push very hard. In fact, you don't want to push too hard because that actually causes more crease than. Candy said winter flowers. Right? Oh, you could you could do winter flowers. I think you could do spring flowers too. I think this is an amazing little set. I'm trying to decide if I want the dimension of one more piece of foam. Let's do one more. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we're gonna do, look how pretty that is. Okay, I love that. We are gonna put that on there and then we are gonna put some sequins on that because I just think we need something fun and, and sparkly in the middle of our flower. So we'll just press that on there. And I got these sequins. I think these are from my ATC kit. I just had them on my desk. They were convenient and handy, so that's what we're using. Oops, I'm gonna use some of the kind of greenish yellow ones. We could use the white ones, I guess, but I think the greenish yellow ones would be prettier. I like all that shine. I think we probably will do about three of those. Let's just pop some glue on there really quick. Got this blue one that is just attached to me a little bit okay so I'm gonna use the detail grabber for this thankfully and looks like we've got two there so if I can get that little stowaway And one more of those, and we have got this one. Looks like I didn't get one in, didn't get quite enough in my, oh, yes I did. How about that? So we've got our little pocket all ready to go. The only thing I wanna add to it is I just wanna add a little sentiment. And I think I'll just kinda of put it I think I'm just gonna put it kind of, obviously I haven't decided yet. <laughs> do I want it underneath? Do I want it to the side? India, first time seeing you. Susan? Yes. Welcome Susan, thank you so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you. Okay, so let's put this kind of on a diagonal. I think, hopefully you can see it. I hate to cover, it's one of my pet peeves. So I hate to cover anything. You know what? I kind of am liking it this way. 
I usually like it kind of more attached to the image, but I'm kind of liking that. Donna says Shannon is awesome. Oh, you are so sweet, Donna. I just love you. Okay. So we've got that. You can kind of see how the card fits in there. Now, if you don't want it to, this can go down pretty far. And if you're kind of worrying about retrieving it and you don't want it to go down that far, Darren will put up a um, link to the tags too. These are the same tags that I used on this project. That's what these are. And they are um, an SVG, so you can cut them out on your die cutting machine, your electronic one. But you can just uh, glue them, or probably you would just use like tissue tape or something, and you can just slide them onto something like this so you can retrieve them easily. I'm not gonna do that yet. I don't know that that color is the best. Isn't that fun? And it's just simple. I, I am loving these little file folders, I'm telling you. I'm definitely getting some mileage out of them. Okay, so now we will finish up this last little guy. And this one's so simple too. This, and this is another one of those dies. If you have not purchased the Evergreen Builder, that's another one of those, those die sets that seriously, you need it as a staple in your stash. Because I personally, I will probably use it all year long. And it just, there's so many possibilities with it. I love it. So we will just get that little guy attached it's just fun isn't it i'm just i am gonna be really sad to um stop making christmas projects for a while i am still not sick of it which is kind of strange you would think i would be by now because i i've made quite a few but i just love i just love christmas so i'm thinking we might add just a little bit of twine this twine was from um the atc kit it's a good one, isn't it, Candy? Don't you agree? It's a, a must-have for your stash. There are just some that you just you just need. And I would definitely say that would be a staple, a good one. Okay, we're just gonna I probably could have tied that closer to the end to, to conserve my want to stop either. Right? Oh my gosh, I know. Can we just have another Christmas? Can't really afford another Christmas, but hey. <laughs> We'll just make projects for it. I know there are people who create um, Christmas projects all year long, but I don't know if I would love it as much if I did that. So I'll just look forward to it again for next year. Okay, so now we just need to add our little um, conversation clipping. And I think we'll put it up at the top this time. Kind of liking that. Or do we want it to actually... Hmm. I'm kind of liking it to the side. It's the great thing is we can change our minds, right? So I'm just going to actually... I put foam on this side, and I'm just going to... And I've got some tape on this one, and we'll just do it like that. Candy says these are awesome and amazing ideas. Christopher, we need more Adam's recipe. Isn't this fun? And they're just simple. I mean, look how many we got done. It hasn't even been an hour and we got all of these done. And if you've got gift cards, and I know I buy gift cards, what an easy way to make something that, that can be, I mean, gift cards kind of have a reputation for being less personal, right? But you give a gift card and something like this, you've just made your gift card personal. Donna asked, you take pictures of your projects so you can use them next year? I do take pictures of my projects because I, I post them uh, on on the Brutus Monroe site. I post them on uh, my own social media. And so I it's kind of a nice way to have it all kind of archived, that's for sure. Um, this year, though, I did do something that I don't usually do. I've been taking pictures of my the things I've baked because I made some things I haven't made before so that... Um, I can kind of keep track of what everybody liked and what was favorites and where I found the recipes. Because sometimes you find something random and you don't know where you found it. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, I will say one more thing. Giving Betsy Berg uh, a shout out. She she has um, a recipe card. If you look on the Brutus Monroe 
Facebook page, you can look it up for a dill potato soup. And we made it this week. I, I followed the recipe on the recipe card that she made for her project and it was so good. So good. And I actually just completely told you I made it, but I didn't. It was Darren that made it. I just ate it and it was delicious. So that will be in our in our family. You know what, Theresa, that is a great idea. That is a great idea. Keep making things now so that you can have them already ready to go next year. All right, I'm gonna switch the camera view, but you can see everything we everything we made in this one hour. And like I said, there's four different patterns of the um, of the file folder. So you've got plenty to work with. That gives you eight different cards that you can have because, like I said, you can get two per per card. And if you are a subscriber to some of the Brutus Monroe uh, monthly subscriptions, then those are free. And if you are not, they are still really, really reasonable. So I'm going to let me flip my camera. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays to everyone. Who said that? Donna. Donna, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I really just want to take just a second to tell you that I love you and I really do appreciate the support and the and the love and the encouragement that you guys always give me all year long. And I don't probably say it enough, but I really do appreciate you and I really appreciate your friendship. And I hope that you all have an amazing holiday and that you all stay safe and well. And I will catch you again next week. Thank you so much. See you then. Bye-bye.